ladies himself. And with 200 individual medley, SM6, Shattuck, Young, Jia, Crispin, Granichka, Gutierrez, Glock, and Wang. Only Granitska starts in uh, the pool and he gets straight into the fly stroke here. So you swim one length of the pool in each stroke in order, starting with butterfly and then backstroke, and then breaststroke, and then finish off with the uh, freestyle, which is mostly swum as the front crawl and sometimes is uh, swum in another stroke. It is a freestyle to come home. But immediately it is the uh, Chinese swimmer Wang going in lane eight who looks to take it out hard and up to the 50, that's a very good butterfly from Crispin. Yeah, I mean, you know, you have the Chinese swimmer going out, but then Crispin Corzo had an excellent butterfly for him. So now you, you come into the backstroke. Backstroke, I'd probably say, is his weakest leg it of is, all this. Yes. And you see the other Chinese swimmers, they are starting to creep up over him. But then Crispin Corzo, once he hits the wall to go into the breaststroke, that's where he has a ton of power. And I think he's going to surpass these two Chinese swimmers as long as they stay within his sight. He has got a magnificent breaststroke, does uh, Crispin, and I think the real danger for him is trying to get out of the, uh, just keep far enough away from Granitska that he's not able to, to catch him on the uh, 53 coming home. But once Crispin turns, watch this breaststroke and how much he will uh, make up in the pool in this breaststroke. Two or three strokes in and he's already an entire body length of the swimmer alongside him in Jia Hongguang, the 33-year-old. A very strong backstroker, no doubt he's made up that in the pool. And Wang Jingang in lane eight is maintaining his presence in the top three, but also the breaststroke of Yang Hong going in lane two has seen him shoot up into into a position to contest for bronze. Yeah, but here, Crispin Corso just soaring out ahead in this breaststroke. He has a high turnover rate, which he, he needs, given, you know, he doesn't have the longest wingspan. And here, coming up, you also have Granitska, who we knew would yes. be very strong in the breaststroke. Well, Granitska, I think it might be just a little too far for him, but he is an incredibly strong freestyle sprinter, and he has got, well, a good five meters to make up here over just 50 meters. For now, Jia Hongguang is holding on for a medal, and so too Yang Hong, the 21-year-old, both from... Uh, from uh, China looking to hold on for medals. Skranichka is trying to come back. He's almost zigzagging a little in the lane, but Crispin is out on his own and he is not going to be caught. He is determined. He is struggling through this final 53, but he is looking to power his way to the wall in world record time. Is he going to do it? Uh, he does so in world record time. Colombia take gold and Crispin has it in a magnificent fashion, a gold medal. Granitschka does manage to claw his way back into silver medal position, while Chia Hongwang silver five years ago has to claim the bronze. Was there ever any doubt? The magnificent breaststroker who did so well and just trying to keep himself into contention after that weaker stroke, the backstroke. And once he got into the final 100 of the 200 IM, where he was swimming the breaststroke and then the free, unless Granichka was going to be on, on his shoulder, he was not going to be caught. That is some swim. It really was. And, you know, he broke the world record, which was previously held by Sasha Kindred, who yes. is the gold medalist from Rio, and a dominant force in this 200 IM. And I had really thought, you know, the absence of Sasha Kindred, I, I didn't think after this morning, after prelims, swim, that that record might go down. But, you know, Crispin Corzo proved us all wrong. And for many, Crispin has been... The fact that he won the World Championship in 2017 when a couple of the more fancied swimmers weren't at the championships, it's always been a bone of contention that he could claim to be world champion when he wasn't necessarily swimming against the best. This proves that he is an absolute champion and for him maybe some validation that he needed to prove to himself. And look at this fly. He goes out and he actually touched first at the fly. Normally it's the Chinese swimmers who touch first, but it was Crispin Corso who actually made it first. Backstroke is his weakest leg, but he manages to not let them get too far ahead. And then he turns into the breaststroke. That's where he makes his move. He's over a body length ahead of everyone else. And then this freestyle, he hangs on. He actually extends his lead and comes in for a new world record. Absolute entertainment 
from the captivating Colombian. What a swim. What a brilliant effort 